My wife has been asking me for a new pair of Doc Martens for a while now, so I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to make a video about how to care for and shine a pair if you'd like to learn. I lucked out since my wife doesn't fit in any adult sizes, so we had to buy a size 3 in kids, which are fortunately half the cost of a regular pair. I guess Docs will always have a special place in my heart since my wife was wearing a pair on our very first date. Enjoy this short tutorial and I hope it helps you either prepare your new Docs to be worn or helps you revive an old pair. Let me know what you think. Let's get started. This is The Elegant Oxford with your host, Preston Soto. For those unfamiliar with the brand, Dr. Martens is a legendary boot company which has been around for 70 years and has been the staple fashion choice for the working class and the rebellious alike across its history. The company's founder was actually named Dr. Klaus Martens, who designed his first comfortable prototype after World War II to nurse a broken foot, since he found regular classic leather soles too uncomfortable. Once they started regular manufacturing on April 1, 1960, the iconic 1460 boot was used by police officers and factory workers, but soon became extremely popular with rebellious teens, skinheads, subcultures, and the common folk alike. Today, Doc Martens are used by everyone across the fashion spectrum, and although I don't personally own a pair or wear them, there is no denying how absolutely legendary and iconic they are. Now, if you don't already own a pair of cedar shoe trees, I highly recommend investing in a pair so that your boots will last you for years. Shoe trees wick moisture from foot sweat out of the leather and keep the boots in proper shape. Not using a tree can easily result in a shorter lifespan for any leather shoe. The first thing you want to do is use a horsehair brush to get dust and debris off the leather upper. This is especially important if your docks are dirty and need a good clean. A good leather conditioner is vital. Leather is made of skin and needs to be kept hydrated and nourished so it won't crack. Mud and salt are not good for calf skin, so make sure to take care of your boots by using leather conditioner regularly. If nothing else, this is the only step you must follow. Once leather cracks, there is no easy or reliable way to fix it. If you'd like to add pigment back into the leather, a colored shoe cream can help with that. If you'd like to avoid colored cream so that you can let the natural patina develop on the leather, you can skip this step or use a new... Colored shoe polish is really great at covering scuffs and discoloration that might happen naturally. Apply it conservatively and let it absorb into the leather before brushing. Some people like to leave it on overnight, but 5 to 10 minutes is sufficient.
Shoe wax serves a different purpose than colored cream or leather conditioner. Wax polish protects the shoe from droplets and dust, and also gives a shoe a nice high shine. Wax doesn't condition well or contain much pigment, but it's really an essential step in protecting your shoes. Wax polish dries quickly, so brush it off and you'll see an immediate difference. Now you can absolutely stop here. The boots are ready to wear, and if yours were dirty, they are back in proper condition. I imagine most people will go no further, but since my wife wants a really high mirror shine, I'm gonna go ahead and give her what she wants. Now I totally understand that this might not be something you want to do to your docks, and that's totally okay, but at the very least, you'll be able to see how to perform a proper spit shine. The first step is to apply five or six sequential layers of wax with your fingers, and then wait about two minutes. After you've waited a couple of minutes, um, get an ice cube and mix it with water and rubbing alcohol, and then get a rag around your two fingers and start to buff that dried wax. Remember to touch the wax gently and don't add a lot. You need to build up those layers uh, with patience and then you'll eventually get a spit shine. This can definitely take a while. For those who've already done it, it can take up to 20 to 30 minutes on a brand new pair, so be patient. Uh, take your time and do not rush it. Uh, people often ask me, how much pressure should I use? Imagine you're uh, shining uh, an eggshell. You need sufficient pressure to uh, get those waxes to shine, but not too much that the shell breaks. So you gotta kind of find the perfect middle ground and add droplets of cold water and uh, wax and just keep buffing and buffing and you will see a mirror shine start to develop. Once you've made progress, leave them overnight and come back to them in the morning and you'll see that the shine will build up quicker and faster. That's one of my secrets. I'm uh, pretty happy with how these came out. Um, I'm happy that Doc Martens are kind of coming back. I'm, I'm seeing them a lot more than I used to and uh, they're pretty legendary, pretty iconic. So I'm happy, with, uh, happy to, to have worked on them. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helps you shine your Doc Martens up. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share for more content in the future. Make sure to check out my other videos as well if you'd like to learn more about shining your shoes. Look for me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Elegant Oxford for more. Remember to care for your shoes so that they'll last you for years to come. Always put your best foot forward. The small details matter most, so don't forget to hashtag shine your shoes. I'll see you next time.